I'm Henry. I'm one of the co-founders of Reclaim.ai. Uh, and today I'm going to be showing you a pretty exciting uh, sneak preview of something that we've been working on here that we're calling uh, Reclaim Assistant. Um, you know, ever since Patrick and I uh, started building Reclaim five years ago, uh, our vision has always been that, you know, our, the reason our calendars are so hard to manage is that they don't know what matters to us. They, they can't take our needs and our preferences and our priorities and just magically make our calendar reflect that. But as we all know, it's really important uh, that your calendar be a reflection of your priorities so that you can get time for what matters most. Um, and so we've been in the process of chipping away at this problem for a long time. Uh, most recently, you've probably seen the release of uh, this priorities feature that now lets you sort of tell Reclaim what your priorities are, whether those are uh, routines you want to get time for, or tasks you want to get time for, or meetings you want to make time for, or links that you want to show more or less availability. Um, and really, this is kind of the, 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 we believe, one of the final pieces of the foundation to really start bringing this more sort of human assistant-like interface into the product. And with the development and advances that we've all seen over the past year uh, in LLMs and um, generative AI, uh, we're really, really excited about using those new technologies as a way to not only interpret what's on your calendar automatically, so Reclaim kind of gets smarter um, as it kind of sees more and more data, whether that's from your calendar or project management systems or other types of, of, of information that Reclaim has access to, but also to provide this really cool kind of assistant-like experience where you can actually chat with Reclaim and tell it what you want it to do. And we use all of these foundations that we've been building for many years uh, to make your calendar reflect what you want. Uh, so I'm going to give you a, a pretty fast demo. This is not publicly available yet. Uh, this is something that we're still working on internally. Uh, we're planning on having a private beta of it in the near future. Um, and then uh, we believe that probably sometime this year, it'll be available for everyone who uses the platform. And so to kick things off, I'm going to walk through kind of the, the core scenarios that we've really been invested in. And I just used uh, shift command K to pull up uh, my reclaim assistant. You can see here, this is a little preview of our new command bar that's going to be making its way into the product. Um, and instead of using any of these uh, pre-baked prompts, um, I'm just going to, I'm going to start kind of walking through a scenario where I'm trying to get time uh, to work on an important project. And that project involves some heads down time that I need. It involves me scheduling some time with some other people. Um, and it also involves me making some changes in the moment to accommodate uh, some stuff that happens during my day. Because as we know, uh, even though we want our calendars to be a reflection of what we're going to do, stuff always happens. So I'm going to start by just kind of getting a lay of the land. I'm going to ask Reclaim, um, what's on my calendar this week for Project Mastodon? And Project Mastodon is a, is a project that I'm working on as a product manager. Um, so I've got some tasks that I've already created for it in Reclaim. I've got some meetings. Um, and you can see it's checking my calendar. It's checking ClickUp, which is the integration that I'm using to pull in tasks from that project. It's kind of looking through everything it knows about me. And it's basically trying to sort of determine, like, what's you know what do you have already planned out this week for this specific project? And you could imagine doing this for anything. You could do this for, you know, how many calls do I have with customers this week? Or uh, how much time do I have with Bob this week um, for people that you want to spend a little bit more time with. Great. So uh, I found here a handful of tasks uh, that I've got captured here. Um, in this case, I've got uh, a task that I created to gather some requirements and then another task for creating a sprint plan. But it turns out that I actually need some time today. Uh, I found out I have a board meeting on Friday. I need to prep uh, some slides for the board to tell them about Project Mastodon. And so I'm going to ask uh, Reclaim, um, can you get me, let's call it two hours, uh, to work on some board slides uh, for Project Mastodon by the end of the day. Urgent. I didn't have to tell it it was urgent. Reclaim is going to figure out just based on the due date, but I like to give my AI a little bit more prompting and you know make sure that it understands uh, that this is a really important thing I want to get done. And so you'll see here in a second, um, it's actually going to create a task. It's now running the scheduler and it's actually uh, getting the task onto my calendar and making sure that I get the time I need. And you can see here, just from this little preview, I'll, I'll X out of this in a moment so you can see, um, it not only found the time for my board slides, today's Monday and I've got two hours here, 
um, it actually alerted me that I have these tasks now that are at risk of missing their due date. It kind of, it's still keeping me on the plan that I had originally created for myself. Um, so I've got this task. That's great. But let's say, you know, uh, it turns out actually something happened. Oh shoot. I actually have to take my dog to the vet. Um, Uh, because they're feeling sick, I need to step away for a few hours. So this is bringing in a whole new feature that actually doesn't exist in Reclaim now that we're calling Take a Break, um, where you can kind of tell Reclaim in the moment um, that you kind of need some time to do something that's fairly urgent. You can see it already added that block to my calendar, so now no one can schedule with me. And I've got this new event that says like vet visit. And I said a few hours, I could have said through the end of the day if I wanted to. Um, and you can see it moved my board slides uh, task down here uh, from 3.30 to 5.30. Um, and I've got this vet visit, you know, for the next few hours, it's gonna help me kind of get that time back that I need. So now um, I'd like to schedule a meeting. And this is really one of the, the things we're really excited about with Reclaim Assistant, which is the ability to say, hey, I need to get some time with this person. Here's some instructions about when I'd like this meeting to happen um, and, uh, and kind of some additional context about what I'm okay trading off to make room for uh, this urgent meeting. And so um, in this case, I'd like to meet with someone on our team named Daniel. Um, Daniel is uh, working on Project Mastodon and I wanna kind of get some status from him. So I'm gonna ask for an hour. Um, can you find one hour with me and Daniel for an urgent meeting? to discuss the status of Project Mastodon, um, ideally sometime before Friday, and it's okay to book over anything except my customer calls. So I'm kind of providing, you know, a few different things just happened there. I said, here's the amount of time I need. Here's this person named Daniel. And you can see right now, it's actually searching through my contact list and my coworker list. And it's going to find Daniel. It's going to find the Daniel on our team. I didn't have to put his email in or anything. And I kind of gave it some, some rough ideas of when I want to get it done. Um, and also gave it a sense of like what I'm okay making trade-offs on. And in this case, I've said like, I really don't want to book over anything that's a customer call. Um, so in this case, it found me a couple of different options. One is at 2.45 and then one is on Wednesday at noon. And it's kind of giving me an alert that like, hey, if you do this, you're not gonna have time for your team lunch. And in this case, actually, this time's kind of perfect for me. I, I'd rather uh, do this than go to my team lunch. It's okay for me to make that trade off. And so I'm going to uh, get that thing booked. And you can see here, uh, it's already booked on my calendar. And Reclaim has also deprioritized my team lunch to make room for um, this Project Mastodon uh, uh, meeting that I've got with Daniel now. And it's gotten coded as a one-on-one -on -one because it's a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me and Daniel. Um, so we're really, really excited about where this is going. There's obviously tons more work to do, uh, lots more that we want to deliver here. Um, but we think this is the beginning of something really exciting uh, for your schedule and productivity. Um, and we're really excited to show you what's next. Um, so thank you very much and uh, take care.